ballistic galvanometer students today we learn about this special instrument which works on electromagnetic induction as you know when current passes through a coil and is kept in a magnetic field it experiences a torque this torque is directly proportional to the current passing through it as you can see there is a coil wound on a metallic frame which is fixed in a core metallic core and there is a aluminum <coughs> frame on which this is wound this gives greater movement of inertia this assembly is kept in a magnetic field and these magnets are horseshoe magnet this assembly is uh, is hanging from a wire which is made made of phosphor bronze there is an arrangement which gives a light and this light falls on a mirror from where it get reflected and falls on a scale this is known as lamp scale arrangement this helps in reading the deflection with more clarity and with greater sensitivity the assembly is supported by a frame from the top as well as from the bottom here you can see the original ballistic galvanometer available in the labs if you remove the cover you can notice that there is a thin phosphor bronze fiber which is hanging from the top and is holding this coil frame assembly with the mirror if you can see a small circular mirror is attached to the phosphor bronze wire from here the light get reflected and falls on a scale let's conduct the experiment to find out the current sensitivity of the ballistic galvanometer current sensitivity is the deflection produced on the scale kept at 1 meter away from the ballistic galvanometer this is a circuit diagram three resistors p q and r are connected with the bg if light is reflected on the scale you can see the spot on the scale you can adjust these resistors so that the spot remains in the range it doesn't go away from the scale but by changing the resistance you can notice that the deflection increases or decreases if you find the deflection is too much you can press the deflection key which is attached parallel to the ballistic galvanometer so that electromagnetic damping can occur you can stop this spot as you find that the short circuit is made and circuit is completed electromagnetic damping is there and spot stops at that point then easily you can adjust the resistor which is a fractional resistor that is a resistor in the middle and by changing this resistor you will find the deflection is increasing you can note down these deflections and with the same with the value of the resistor as the resistor value p is increased you may notice that the spot may go out and will do some swings and finally stops at one particular point you record this point along with the values of the resistor this will help you to calculate the current sensitivity from the given formula you can notice that the spot is coming to a final equilibrium position if there is a swing you wait for some time and let the spot to come to rest to record it correctly this is a circuit assembly what you can see in the blue is basically a source these three registers and then we have this damping key 
this damping key helps to stop the spot when it is pressed this is the lamp and scale arrangement the lamp gives a light on the mirror which get reflected and falls on the scale the scale is kept at a distance of 1 meter from the mirror of the plastic galvanometer it's quite important to keep this distance because as per definition you have to keep the scale at a distance of 1 meter thank you